Hello and welcome to this presentation. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Michael Santanato and I am proud to share with you this idea, this strategy, which is a different strategy for life insurance for business owners. And I've studied this for a few years now and I gotta tell you, I put this presentation together so you understand why it just makes sense. As a business owner myself and a business owner for over seven years, I know that different people depend on you, your family, your friends, your teammates, your coworkers, vendors, clients, kids if you have kids, parents, people that you look after, they depend on you. And life insurance is different from the average person from the business owner. Let's be honest, everything is different as a business owner. You have so much more to manage. You have so many more expenses. You have so much that you are responsible for. And at the end of the day, if the numbers don't look good, if the numbers don't add up, then you might not be in business anymore. But hopefully, you know, that is not gonna be the case at all for you. Hopefully what's there for you, I intend is abundance and prosperity and service for you and your clients so that your business grows, your lifestyle, your quality of life grows, and it just gets better and better and better. That's why I think it's important to share this situation and this strategy with you. So let's take the average person, uh, let's say a millennial, you know, someone such as myself, a lot of young millennials starting businesses, owning businesses, but uh, female, let's go with a female in this case. So let's look at a standard option for them, which is typically life insurance of a 25 year term and a critical illness policy, which just makes sense with the return of premium because if you don't use it, you get your money back. So that's very win-win. This being a, uh, let's, let's say maybe this person is a, is a single mom or maybe uh, you know two parents, they're in a relationship and they've got kids. So the insurance and the protection is important for them. This might cost about $1,200 annually for this one person. Now this is two forms of very good coverage, protecting assets, lifestyle, income, and more. So what's happening here is they're paying with their life insurance with after tax dollars, excuse me, they're paying for their life insurance and after tax dollars. So if they're self-employed and, you know, maybe they don't have a big business that they're growing, but they're doing commission sales or, or uh, a type of sales work where they're an independent contractor, they're in a lower tax bracket, let's say 26%, but they're still paying $15,000 in tax leaving her with an income of $44,000 net after tax. So she's paid for her life insurance and after tax dollars. And like I always say to clients in meetings, at events when I'm doing education, it's not what you make, but what you keep that counts. So here's where things get interesting. When you own a business, as I said, life is different. You've got more stress, more responsibility, more to look after, more to take care of. You're, you've got a growth mindset and you're working for yourself. It's a totally different mindset. So optimizing everything is very important. And this is a different tax structure. You've got different tax implications as a business owner for you and for your business. You're doing twice the taxes, right? And you've got totally different expenses, completely different expenses than the average person. A lot more to manage. One of the exciting things about a business and a corporation is that you can legally pay for some or many or part of your expenses, such as you know, rent, phone bill, electricity, and more. Some of you are doing this already. But did you know that life insurance and different kinds of insurance is also something that a business can pay for? And the great news about this is that the corporation owns the policy and the insurance is paid with pre-tax dollars. Very, very crucial. A wise person said to me, you always want to think in after tax dollars because that's what matters. So an insurance policy owned by a business is an expense which is paid with pre-tax dollars, which leaves the business more for them to use. And there's no cost to the individual. So you're literally taking an expense out of the individual's pocket and removing it and giving it to the business. So there's more in the individual's pocket, which of course leaves the net take home much higher. So let's take the same situation. Let's say the same type of person, you know, let's compare this apples to apples, someone earning $60,000 as a self-employed person, 26% tax bracket. But in this case, the business is paying for the life insurance in before tax dollars. Like I said, leaving her with more money in her pocket. Stay tuned. The best part I've saved for the end. And again, it's not what you make, but what you keep that counts. So in the same case, apples to apples, okay, 
same types of coverages, we want the same protection and benefits, but we're giving this expense to the business. So the business in this case has purchased, a, in this example, a universal life policy, which means that it's an insurance policy with an investment, with a lot of flexibility. So Strong Woman Co. is her company name, same person, business owner, 34-year-old female, same benefits. Look at the bottom right-hand corner, the total premium is $1,380, okay, which is almost, let's say, $200 more. Now, this is just one example. Everybody's situation is going to be different, and there's a lot of flexibility, as I mentioned. So this is just a simple example. And the great news about this, a big, big, big reason why is because to do this is because in this case, in this policy, approximately 54% of every dollar paid into the policy goes into an investment. And in this example, 46% is going to the actual insurance. However, when we started the presentation and I talked to you about how the average person does it, with the average person, 100%, 100% of the payments goes to the life insurance only. And the money in this option is invested and will grow over time. And it's realistic. I've given you a realistic example here. We're going to see some really exciting numbers very soon. That there's a 4% net rate of return, rate of growth net annually on this funds. So this is a quote for our strong woman co and our female business owner. Now notice here in the highlight in the circle, that's what I want you to pay attention to. I mentioned there's a lot of flexibility. So in this case, it says minimum annual premium 1380 and maximum annual premium is about $23,000. That means that the business has the choice to place into this policy, into this investment, a wide range from between $1,400 to $23,000. And that's very good news because as a business owner, you know that cash flow varies from year to year. In this example, 4% of the money is, sorry, the money is growing at 4% per year. Again, take a look, that's net, that's net. Very conservative and realistic at the same time. So now take a look at the gold bar in the middle. After 10 years, after paying for this policy for 10 years, focus on this value on the right-hand side. These two numbers here on the right-hand side, $14,094 after 10 years. So this means that We'll do the math in a second, but after 10 years of paying $2,300 in the investment fund, what's available is $14,000. And this is miraculous. This is magnificent because this is money that otherwise would have sat in the corporation's bank account doing nothing. And like I met someone the other day, he didn't like his money to be left in the bank. He sold a salon that he owned and he did not like his money to be left in the bank because the bank gave him nothing, he said. So in this case, $23,337 has been paid into the program. That's 10 years at $2,300 a year, with which leaves in this example, 14,000 available in cash value. That is available to be used. That is money that has been invested and grown and available to be used, okay? which is really fantastic because that's over 50%. Now let's take a conservative example. Let's say there's a recession and things don't go so well. We, we automatically provide an alternative scenario, which is an illustration for illustration purposes. And we can automatically see that, you know, there's a reduction in the investment growth and there's a, there's a reduction in the total cash value available. But if you look at the gold bars on the right hand side, you see that there's still $12,000 available as cash, cash surrender value that can be used. And the phenomenal thing is that, let's be honest, if you try to take money out of your corporation now, you are taxed. Your business gets taxed. Anytime you try to take a salary or pay yourself, you know you're gonna pay extra tax. So if you just leave it there, it's doing nothing. If you take it out, it's getting taxed. Bad news. But in this scenario, you're using this money and investing it in an insurance policy, which you probably have anyway, so you're not paying it yourself anymore. The money's getting invested. And guys, this has been in use in practice for over 60 years. This is a phenomenal strategy. Let me tell you honestly, life insurance is one of the last safe places that the government does not touch. The money gets invested tax-free and it's no longer sitting in the account. It's got to be annoying and frustrating when you look at your bank account balance for your business and you just see the money sitting there doing nothing. 
In this case, it gets used, it grows, and it can be utilized for different purposes. And after five years, as soon as five years, that money can be used. Remember that the premium, the payments can be adjusted. It's very flexible depending on the business, which is great because as a business grows, the needs change. And sometimes there's a bad year or a not so good year. It happens once in a while. You have that flexibility. There's a massive range in this example of what can be paid into the policy. And this is the best part is that this can be leveraged. This money can be leveraged tax-free. It is possible to receive a collateral loan against the value of the investment so that the money keeps growing. And if that doesn't make sense, no problem. Just reach out to me. We can jump on a call or set up a meeting and I'll explain it. You can receive 85% of the cash value to receive as a loan, okay? Offering the policy up for collateral. And the tax benefit is a write-off on the interest paid on the loan. If you love leverage, if you love growing wealth, your wealth, you know that it's done through leverage. So the money can be then used to take a salary and invest in real estate or stocks or more. So I'd like you to find out what it might look like for you and your business. I'd like you to ask yourself, what will you save in taxes? What will you invest in for your future, for your family's future, for your business's future? And how will your business grow if you're using that money efficiently and effectively and reducing your expenses and saving on taxes? I invite you to book an appointment at no cost to discover for yourself. I'd be thrilled to speak with you and share with you this idea and this strategy. As a business owner myself, I have one of these policies. Once I understood it completely, it made perfect sense. So I invite you to reach out to me, contact me. That's my email address. Some of you have my phone number. It is important to have the full picture and we can review the information with your accountant and work together to do what's right for you and your business. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope to speak to you soon.